Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to speak to you about your inner billion. Now, this idea first came to me many years ago when I went to a talk by Dr. D. Martini and he was speaking about your inner billion. And it's such a beautiful concept that I want to share it with you. So what he was saying was that everyone has something really special and unique about them. And what I've realised over the years is although we have this special, wonderful, unique thing about us, it's so much part of us and so normal to us that quite often we don't see it as being special and unique. And Dr. Di Martini was trying to say that whatever this is about you, once you've figured it out, um, it is your way to making a billion dollars per se. And I've seen it quite often in other people. Um, I know what my inner billion is. And I thought I'd share a little bit about it so that you might be able to start understanding what your inner billion is. Now, a number of weeks ago, I did an episode on values and how you determine your own set of values. And your values is very much in line with what your inner billion will be. And specifically, a number of the focuses for deciding on your values. So one of them is, where do you spend your time? And this is not your time where you have to work or you have to do chores. It's not your allotted time to survival. It's your free time, your precious time. What do you spend your precious time doing? What are your interests, your fascinations? What drives you? And second of all, what do you spend your money on? Again, not on the necessities and the survival things in life, but that spare money, the precious money to you. How do you allot that and what do you spend it on? And when you look at those different things, the other thing to look at is where do you spend your time learning? Um, what do you read? What do you watch on YouTube or TV or on the news? What, what are the interests that you fill and nurture your wisdom with? Again, those three things will most tell where your inner billion will lie. So a couple of the examples he gave was one of a woman who had, um, she was looking, she was desperate for money and didn't have any, and she couldn't think of how to make any money. And so Dr. D. Martini asked her a number of these questions, and it came out that she had a dog and that she spent a lot of time training her dog. And she put an inordinate amount of money into caring for it and learning about dogs and all these kind of things. So her focus, um, a lot of her energy was spent on this little dog. And with Dr. D. Martini's help, she ended up applying for a job for, I think it was Taco Bell in America. And her dog ended up being the face of Taco Bell or something like that. Um, don't quote me on the exact sort of things. It's been many years <laughs> since I listened to his lecture. For myself, I've seen it, strangely enough, with my brother. And not successfully, unfortunately. My brother, if I was to answer those questions, would have been sport. Sport was his focus, his time. When we were young, he used to create these amazing folders full of football, imaginary football teams. And he would make up the strips, he'd design the teams, he'd, he'd have this whole thing going. And I don't know if it's still on because I'm not really into sport particularly, <laughs> other than I like doing it myself, but I certainly don't watch teams play and things like that. But I think there was a programme called Question of Sport. And he always used to watch it. And if I was ever sitting with him, I would marvel at the fact that he ha had the answer for nearly every single question. The dates, the people, the events, everything. He nearly got e absolutely every single one of them right. And it's something that's been part of his life his whole life. Um, he, he loves to watch sport. He loves to play sport. Um, it's, it's a huge thing in his whole world. And I always thought that he should have done something in that area. Um, he's also incredibly good at talking and incredibly good at writing. He's got a, a way with him that is engaging and people enjoy. He's quite often called upon to be master of ceremonies because um, he's entertaining and he's fun and he's witty and all these kind of things. And I always thought that he would have done incredibly well as a commentator or as um, somebody on radio in line with sport. But he didn't have the courage to step into that or the confidence or whatever it is. And that's something that I want to share with you as well, that although you might be able to find what your inner billion is by this method or process, the things that will hold you back are your self-belief, 
are your societal beliefs in what it is that you are interested in, whether society believes it has value or not, and whether or not you have the courage to follow that within yourself, or whether you bow to what society thinks, or what you think of yourself. For me, um, my passion is self-awareness, consciousness, understanding the shift from the ego state into the self-aware conscious state, um, connecting to all that is and energy and all of those things. And that's why I make these episodes, because whether or not anyone listens to them, for me, it's about sharing what I'm passionate about, what I love. Um, and it gives me a huge amount of joy to share that with other people. So that's why I create them. <laughs> um, so have a think about it. Look at your life because everybody has their inner billion. Um, I remember another story, the school that my children um, went to in the UK. Um, they had a student that went through who I don't think he did particularly well at his exams and things like that, but he was incredibly sociable. Um, I don't know his name um, and it's a story that I heard from somebody else, but he ended up applying for a job at Facebook and apparently did incredibly well. Um, because his natural abilities, his inner billion, was all to do with connecting and socialising um, and interacting with people. That's what he was really amazingly good at. And I think quite often in life, through school and through society, we try to fit into a box of what we think success looks like or what we think will get us success. Whereas if we actually take a step back and really connect to who we are and what our strengths and interests are and make the most of those, then success can take us in a whole different direction, which isn't just success and wealth and all those sort of things, but it's exhilarating, it's um, fun, it's enjoyable, um, there's passion and so much more than just simply turning up to a job. I hope that this has touched and got you thinking about your own inner billion. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode and you don't want to miss out on any futures, make sure you subscribe. I always appreciate any likes that anyone gives me as well. Um, if you're interested in connecting with me through coaching or any of my online courses, then there's a link to my website in the show notes below. Have a fabulous week and I'll see you again next week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.